Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. Are you tired of hearing bad arguments from sleazy politicians? Or bad arguments on television commercials? Or bad arguments from evil cult leaders? Con artists, hit the road, Jack. We got street smarts. But you gotta have experience when you learn logic. How do you get better at singing? Well, you practice. You get your experience. How do you get better at sports? You practice. You gotta get your experience. And how do you get better at logic? You practice. You gotta get your experience. Now, remember, we're evaluating deductive and inductive arguments. Let's get our practice, get our experience with practice problem number one. Listen to this argument. 40% of all pigs can fly. This animal is a pig, therefore this animal can fly. All right, now I'm going to tell you when to press pause. What you're going to want to do is press pause and work through the answer, get your experience, get it over with, write down the answer, then press play and see if you're correct. So is this argument strong or weak? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's correct. This is a weak argument. Notice the conclusion follows with only 40% probability. Now, is this argument cogent or uncogent? Now's the time to press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. The argument is uncogent. That's correct. Not only is this argument weak because it follows from 40% probability, but the first premises is false because pigs cannot fly. All right, here is another practice problem for you. Listen to this argument. Most commercial trucks consume diesel fuel. This is a commercial truck. Therefore, it probably consumes diesel fuel. And the question, is this argument strong or weak? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. It's a strong argument. Notice the conclusion follows probably from the premise. Now, is this argument cogent or uncogent? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. It's cogent. That's correct. The argument is strong and both of the premises are true, so the argument is cogent. Here is another practice problem for you. Listen to this argument. All previously examined lemons contain citric acid. Therefore, the next apple to be examined will probably contain citrus and citric acid. Now the question is, is this argument strong or weak? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's correct. It's a weak argument. Notice that the premise, apples to be examined, is not relevant to the conclusion, so the argument is weak. Now the next question. Is this argument cogent or uncogent? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's correct. It is uncogent because it's a weak argument, and you guys know that all weak arguments are uncogent. Okay, more experience for you. Next, next practice problem. Listen to this. Only a few lotto tickets are winners. This is a lotto ticket. Therefore, it probably is not a winner. Question, is the argument strong or weak? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. Ding! It's a strong argument. That's correct. The conclusion follows probably from the premises. Now next question, is the argument cogent or uncogent? The answer is, press pause, 3, 2, 1. Ding! That's correct. It's a cogent argument. And we've seen that the argument is strong. And the next step is, are the premises true? The premises are true. Therefore, it is a cogent argument. Well done. Very good. That was very good. You got some more experience on inductive arguments. Now, in summary, remember that deductive arguments are either valid or invalid. The valid ones with true premises are said to be sound and the invalid ones are unsound. Now remember, inductive arguments are either strong or weak. Okay, the strong ones, if they have true premises, are cogent, and the weak ones are uncogent.
All right, it's time to step up the game to get more experience. The next problems that come are going to, you're going to determine if it's deductive or inductive. Then you're going to determine if it's valid or invalid or strong or weak. Are you ready for this? Let's get it over with. Here comes your experience. Get your practice problems. Listen to this argument. This is a triangle that has two angles that total 120 degrees. Therefore, the, tri the third angle equals 60 degrees. Now, question for you. Is this argument deductive or inductive? Notice we're doing this first, inductive or deductive. Okay, now's the time to press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. It's a deductive argument. That's correct. Notice it's an argument based on mathematics and geometry. All right, is this argument valid or invalid? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. Ding! It's valid. Are the premises true? Yes. A triangle equals 180 degrees. 180 minus 120 equals 60. Very good. Let's continue. All right, listen to this argument. The dinner host reported that fewer than 40% of the dinner guests ordered dessert. So we can conclude that most of the dessert cookies are uneaten. Question, is it deductive or inductive? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's correct. It's an inductive argument. It's an argument from authority, the dinner host. All right, is this argument strong or weak? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's correct. It's a strong argument. Dinner hosts can usually be trusted to determine who did and did not order dessert. Okay, here's another practice problem for you. Listen to this argument. If I had a million dollars, then I would be a millionaire. I am not a millionaire, therefore I do not have a million dollars. So the question, is it deductive or inductive? Press pause, because the answer is 3, 2, 1. Deductive, that's correct. This argument is a hypothetical syllogism. Next question, is this argument valid or invalid? Press pause, the answer is 3, 2, 1. It's a valid argument. That's correct. Notice that the conclusion does follow necessarily from the premise. And notice it is a sound argument. Next practice problem. Listen to this. Jim was yawning in class today. Jim must have been tired because of nightmares. Question. Is this argument deductive or inductive? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. Inductive. That's correct. Notice this argument is a causal inference. Remember, the word must here is just a conclusion indicator. Next question. Is this argument strong or weak? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's correct. It's a weak argument. Notice he could have been tired for many other reasons rather than just nightmares. Listen to this argument. Another practice problem for you. The dog tag... Or the tag on this dog collar says Nigel. It must be the case that the collar belongs to a dog named Nigel. Question, is it deductive or inductive? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. The argument's inductive. That's correct. It's an argument from signs. Okay, next question. Is this argument strong or weak? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. Ding! That's correct. It's a strong argument. Dog collars. The tag on the dog collar can usually be trusted as to the dog's name. All right, next practice problem. Listen to this. If the EPA restricts coal burning, then the environment will be better. If the environment is better, then we will be healthier. Therefore, if the EPA restricts coal burning, then the environment will be better. Now, this is a difficult one. Press pause and let me know if it's deductive or inductive. The answer is 3, 2, 1. Ding! It's a deductive argument. That's correct. Notice it's a hypothetical syllogism. Next question. Is this argument valid or invalid? Press pause because the answer is 3, 
two, one. The argument is invalid. Now I know this was a difficult one, but for an argument like this, in order for it to be valid, the end of one premise must hook up with the beginning of another premise. Not to worry, in future videos you will be an expert at identifying invalid hypothetical syllogisms, etc. But let's continue. Listen to this argument. Either the U.S. or Canada is where Texas is located. But the U.S. does not include Texas, therefore Canada is where Texas is located. Question for you. Is this argument deductive or inductive? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. Ding! That's right. It's a deductive argument. The argument is a disjunctive syllogism. Next question. Is this argument valid or invalid? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. Ding! That's right. It's a valid argument. The conclusion does follow necessarily from the, pre the premise, but notice it's unsound because the second premise is, in is incorrect. Next practice problem for you. Listen to this argument. The first three people that came into the store today, they all had tattoos. So, it must be that everybody has tattoos. Question. Is this argument deductive or inductive? Press pause, because the answer is 3, 2, 1. Ding! It's an inductive argument. That's right. Notice it's a generalization. Next question. Is this argument strong or weak? Press pause, because the answer is 3, 2, 1. One. Ding! The argument is weak. That's correct. Notice there are billions of people on the planet, and this sample only includes three. Next argument. Listen to this. Statistics say that 80% of military vets will go on to live normal lives. And since Marshall is a military vet, he will probably live a normal life. Question. Is this argument deductive or inductive? Press pause, because the answer is three, two, one. Ding! That's right, it's an inductive argument. Notice the word probably indicates that it's an inductive argument. Next question. Is this argument strong or weak? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. That's right, it's a strong argument. The conclusion follows with an 80% probability. Here is another practice problem. Get your experience, listen to this. The piece of ice is shaped like a cube. Therefore, its 16 sides are equal. Is this argument deductive or inductive? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. Ding! It's deductive. Notice that's correct. It's math and definition. Both of them are deductive. Now, next question. Is it valid or invalid? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. Ding! That's right. It's valid. Notice the conclusion does follow necessarily from the definition of a cube. Here's another practice problem for you. Listen to this argument. On average, the moon turns bright blue every 25,000 years. Therefore, it is likely that many living today will see the moon turn bright blue. Question. Is it deductive or inductive? Press pause. The answer is 3, 2, 1. Ding! That's right. It's inductive. This is an argument from a prediction. Next question. Is this argument strong or weak? Press pause because the answer is 3, 2, 1. Ding, that's right, it's a weak argument. Notice, assuming if the premises are true, the conclusion is extremely unlikely. Another practice problem, listen to this one. This pet bear is both friendly and dangerous. Therefore, this pet bear is friendly. Is the argument deductive or inductive? Press pause because the answer is in 3 and two, and one. Ding! That's right, it's deductive. Notice the conclusion does follow necessarily from the premise, which means that the argument is deductive. All right, next question. Is the argument valid or invalid? Press pause, because the answer is three, two, one. Ding! That's correct, it's valid, and it's valid for the same reason that it's deductive. Another practice problem. Listen to this one. We're almost through it. Every male bus driver at Westwood Elementary School wears gloves. Therefore, it is necessarily follows that every bus driver at Westwood Elementary School wears gloves. Question. Is it deductive or inductive? Press pause. The answer is in 3, 2, 1. 
Ding, it's a deductive argument. Notice the word necessarily indicates that it's a deductive argument. Next question, is the argument valid or invalid? Press pause because the answer is in three, two, one. Ding, it's invalid. That's right. It might be the case that there are female drivers in addition to the male drivers who do not wear gloves. Okay, next practice problem. Listen, Emily is an insomniac. Therefore, she is always sleeping. Question, is this argument deductive or inductive? Press pause because the answer is in three, two, one. Ding, that's correct. It's a deductive argument. Yes, and it's a deductive argument based on definition. Next question, is it valid or invalid? Press pause because the answer is in three, two, one. That's correct. Notice the conclusion would indicate that she is always awake. Great job, everybody. You got your experience. Good job. What a wonderful day it was. We've got a lot done here in 15 minutes. Are you ready for more? No, you say. We'll check out our other videos. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, and that's all, folks. Stay logical.